वेलकम बैक माई सेल्फ प्रणब कुमार अधिकारी फ्रॉम सी एस सी ब्रांच एंड दिस इज माई लेक्चर ऑन डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम द टॉपिक इक ट्रांजेक्शन मैनेजमेंट एंड इट विल बी इन थ्री पार्ट्स एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट सो इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज ट्रांजेक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सी वॉट इज अ ट्रांजेक्शन वेन इन डी बी एम एस देर आर मल्टीपल टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेशन गेटिंग परफॉर्म्ड सो दे आर बेसिकली परफॉर्म इन टर्म्स ऑफ रीड एंड राइट ऑपरेशन सो अ लॉजिकल यूनिट ऑफ ऑपरेशन दैट इज मेन्ट फॉर डेटा बेस अपडेशन इज टर्म्ड एज ट्रांजेक्शन सो वी कैन सी इन ट्रांजेक्शन डेफिनेशन इट इज टर्म्ड एज ट्रांजेक्शन मॉडल द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोसेस कंसिस्टिंग बाय द सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस दैट मे रीड फ्रॉम and write on a database so basically we can see that in a database there are multiple data objects for example if we discuss a banking system in banking system there is a customer having an account and in their account there is a balance that is getting maintained and the operation that is being performed over that database uh, over that uh, uh, account in terms of you can say it in a general term whether it is a debit operation or credit operation but on the database we just uh, see it as the uh, reading operation where we can check the account balance of a particular user so it is basically a read operation that reads the account balance similarly if we are performing a credit or a debit operation that is basically change in that database object so it is basically perform performing through the write operation so write operation basically changes the data values so if it is uh, it in a database system we have to perform a transaction for example if you are transferring a uh, 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 transferring some amount from a Uh, account to another account so basically what uh, the sequence of operations will be there in terms of read and write okay so we know first of all that uh, the balance need to be verified what is the balance of that user so it will basically um, do the read operation and it will fetch the account balance of that particular user so when the uh, value is fetched through the read operation from the database then while whether it is a credit operation or debit operation based on that the addition or subtraction will be performed and after that the generated value will be write on the data value that was previously existed and it will update the value that was previously read from the database okay so here we can assume the transaction when we uh, say that a transaction is getting performed so there are some uh, terminologies that is being performed like if we are starting a transaction so when a system get to know that whether it is a starting of a transaction so for that there is a significant of begin so begin basically initiate a transaction that tells us it is the starting point of the transaction okay and when it comes to the end so we uh, know that the transaction has been completely throughout all the operation getting performed successfully so if in case a transaction is in its intermediate states there are multiple operations that were getting performed due to some problems due to some uh, errors or maybe some failures uh, the transactions is not at the not reaches to the end point that means ki the transaction is not completed so in that case what needs to be done the roll back operation so basically there are some uh, terminologies that needs to be uh, known for the transaction uh, operator you can say a database uh, management uh, user so these uh, terminologies like begin end and roll back okay so we will discuss all those terminologies as well throughout the uh, discussion throughout the other lectures as well so we can take some example where these uh, transactions are taking place in a real world we know banking transactions 
So banking transaction, I have already discussed this banking transaction with you all that in a banking system uh, for you can consider it for yourself as well. So in a bank, there is a account of yours and you basically uh, do the daily operations like uh, debiting, crediting, checking the balance. All these operations are getting performed through the transactions where it is performed through the read or write operations. Okay, we also now we can take the example of airline reservation. In airline reservation, we go through the system of reservation, go to the availability of the tickets, and we perform the transaction as well with in terms of uh, in transaction of financial transaction for booking a ticket. Okay, so after the successful commitment of this transaction, you confirm your ticket as well. So there are some set of properties that need to be maintained through the transactional database so that it 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 doesn't violate the primary aspect that is through the transaction when the transaction goes through the operation the consistency that is already maintained over the database should be maintained as well after the commitment of the transaction so basically a transaction must ensure that the database moves from the one stable consistent state to the next stable consistent state so the transaction uh, properties must ensure that uh, throughout the transaction processing it doesn't violate the consistency okay so it should maintain the consistent state as it was earlier to the transaction performance and after the commencement of transaction. So, what are the desirable properties that basically needs to be inherited by the transactional database? It is also termed as ACID properties. A C I D. So, every particular word means something. For example, A stands for atomicity. So, what does it mean by atomicity? When our database uh, is a transactional database so it must con it must inherit this property because if throughout the execution of transactions for example if uh, there are some certain uh, operation within that transaction su suppose uh, if we are transferring some amount from a to b okay so what kind of operations will be there something like reading of operation uh, reading operation on data element a okay then a will be deducted by that amount let it be some x amount okay so if this amount is deducted then what we need to do the write operation will be required so that the updated data value okay will be written on data object okay so this basic unit of operation we see uh, is the deduction of amount from a okay so and what is the transaction transaction is transferring of x amount from a to b okay so what need to be done now from a side the amount has been deducted now it needs to be added in b's account so what will be uh, required in terms of read and write operation we know first of all it will read the object B. Okay. After read operation, what will be done? The amount that is deducted from A will be added to B's account. Okay. So it will be like this. Okay. So now what will be the next phase of a transaction operation? Basically, it uh, generated the new value of B and it must be written as well. Okay. So we know when this operation is performed all these operations are defined in this transaction so there will be some you know begin and after commencement it will be end okay so so begin to end there are certain operation defined within okay so these operations are the part of this transaction so if by any uh, error or problem if any of these operation doesn't getting performed due to the those problems okay so the whole transaction needs to be aborted 
okay so that is the statement of atomicity either throughout the transaction all or none of its action are executed okay so it ensures that either all the operations that are defined within the transactions are executed successfully or none of them okay so getting to the second point what does it mean by consistency we are, have already discussed ki, uh, before the transaction and after the transaction the database should move from one consistent state to another consistent state so that is basically the statement that each transaction execution brings the database to a correct state that is consistent state okay so consistency should not be compromised okay after the commitment of the transaction the next property is isolation so isolation is why important it is a very important uh, in terms of when we are discussing the topic of transaction because in real world we know there are multiple transactions are getting performed over the same database okay so the data basically there is a single database unit okay and because there are multiple transaction operating on the single database okay so to ensure those uh, operation doesn't bring the database to inconsistent state okay as well as uh, there should not be created any uh, error in the transaction so each and every unit of transaction on the same database of database okay should be executed in a isolation manner so what is isolation that the impact of one transaction okay should not be on the another that is parallelly uh, parallelly executing okay so if in case if one transaction impacts on the other transaction that is parallelly executing then it will basically uh, may create uh, error to the system and it may also generate the wrong output that may lead to the inconsistent state as well okay so so each transaction execution is independent of any other concurrent transaction execution okay the parallel executing transaction doesn't impact to the another one okay so the next property is durability what does it mean by durability that means ki whatever value is generated after the execution of transaction that needs to be uh, stored permanently in the database until the another transactions okay uh, needs that data object and to perform the execution of operations within that okay so if we say the statement if a transaction execution succeeds then its effects are registered permanently in the database okay we have already discussed it so let us take an example and this example as well i have discussed this is an example there are two data objects in the database that is a and b okay so we see this is a transaction and this transaction says we have to transfer an amount of fifty dollars from account A to B. Okay, so what will the sequence of operation within this? First of all, it will read the data object. Okay, first because from A we are transferring to B. Okay, so we will read first the A whether the um, amount is uh, sufficient enough to perform the transactions. Okay. So if it is if it is uh, sufficient, okay. So that also need to be checked by the valid validation, okay. So there are some constraint also uh, may be implemented in database. We'll discuss, okay. So if it is sufficient enough, and then what will be done? The fifty dollar amount will be deducted from account A, and the new generated value needs to be updated through the write operation, okay. So here we see one phase of operations that basically uh, deducting the amount that needs to be transferred from a to b in the another phase we see the addition of that particular amount in another account where the balance need to be transferred so this is b so first of all we need to read the value of account balance of b and after reading that it will 
add the $50 in B account and then the updated value will be written on the data through the write operation. Okay. So we see we can discuss all the transactional ACID properties through this operation that how the consistency will be ensured. For example, if A having $100, let uh, Okay, hundred dollars before uh, starting of the transaction and be having fifty dollar. Okay, so we see the transfer of amount, the transfer of amount, how much fifty dollar from A to B. Okay, so we see from A to B, the fifty dollar needs to be transferred. So what will be the total sum of amount okay before and after the execution of transaction so we see that here the sum should be always how much 150 dollar okay before the starting of the transaction and after commitment of the transaction okay because if in case this successfully Okay, happens. Let's see in steps. Okay, first of all, what will be from 100, the $50 will be deducted and the balance will remain in A's account will be $50. Okay, now this will be written in database for A's account. Then what will happen to the B? B is $50 adding the $50 will generate the value $100 okay and this $100 will be right to the database so now B is 100 okay so adding this we will find out after the successful after the successful transfer of $50 from A to B okay the wholesome amount is $150 as well that was earlier to the transaction processing. So basically this is ensuring the consistency. If in case there, uh, if, if it doesn't generating the value uh, as 150, then there may be some errors in the database operations that basically uh, leads to the inconsistent state. Okay. So the second property is atomicity. Okay. So we know how the atomicity will ensure atomicity tells that all the operations, all the logical units of operation within the transaction. Okay. Should be performed. Okay. Successfully and none of them should be, uh, fail. Okay. If in case either one of the operations defined in the transaction gets failed, then all the transaction needs to be rolled back to the starting point before the start of transaction. Okay. So if the transaction fails after step three, you see he after step three, the, 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 the value of a has been updated to 50. Okay. Okay. And after that, if all these operations failed, so what will happen? Uh, if, if, if atomicity is not ensured and this is permanent on database. Okay. So this will lead to inconsistency as well, because after the, after the operation, it will show B's value as $50. Okay. And A is deducted by $50. So it is now $50 and $50 plus $50 is $100. So it basically is inconsistent state. Okay. So if atomicity is not ensured for this example, if after step three, okay. And before step six, okay. So we see ki after this, if these particular operations, that means ki some of the operation doesn't uh, successfully uh, done. So it leads to the inconsistency. Okay. So atomicity needs to be ensured that all the operations needs to be successful or if in case our transactions get filled after this. So for this, uh, what needs to be done, the, the it needs to be done, uh, the rollback operation. Okay. So what will do the rollback operation? The operation that was deduction of $50 will be rolled back 
okay so it will ultimately generating the same value that was starting uh, before the starting of the transaction that means it will be also a will be 100 and b will be 50 as well okay so uh, it basically uh, roll back the entire transaction okay so it doesn't uh, impact the consistency okay so either the all the operations getting performed or none of them okay similarly what does it mean by durability we have already discussed durability means the generated value of a of 50 and b of 100 should be permanently durable in the database system until until the next operation on these data elements getting performed okay now okay there is one terminology also used there that once the user notified that all the transaction completed the updates were database by the transaction must persist despite failures okay if any kind of failures take place after the successfully uh, commencement of all the operations okay th then the final updated value needs to be persist okay for permanently until the next operation taking place on the same data object okay the next property is isolation we see isolation basically ensures that all the transactions that are executing in a concurrent environment means all the transactions are parallel executed okay so in that phase where the multiple transactions are uh, getting executed we need to ensure that the right operation of one data element doesn't impact the other transaction this, this is basically why this is basically because of a right operation makes the changes okay and if the changes making transactions uh, gets failure in future okay and before the commencement of the letter one transaction that is reading the value written by this transaction that may lead to the inconsistency and may generate a wrong value for the other transaction okay for example let's say ki there are two transaction t1 and t2 okay and they are executing parallelly in concurrent environment some data is written by transaction t1 okay and that value is getting read by the another transaction t2 okay but if in case the remaining operations defined in t1 okay gets failed okay the system will do what system will roll back all the operations if it roll backs okay then this right operation was also reversed okay so it will be reversed and the a's value that was initially when it was get written by this transaction gets to the its original value that was before starting by t1 but in a parallel execution we see here t2 reads that value in meanwhile these both transactions were execution okay in and both the transaction were in execution okay so maybe this continues and this commits okay if it it commits so it was based on this value that was read written by this transaction and ultimately this transaction rolled back okay so this written value basically is wrong and all the operation based on this read operation will generate ultimately wrong value of a okay so this needs to be ensured through the isolation process and through the concurrency control mechanism that this type of scenario doesn't take place throughout the transaction processing in a concurrent environment okay let us discuss now what are the states that are defined in a transaction okay so basically uh, we say there are active state partial committed state or failed state or committed or aborted okay so we can say when a transaction starts okay so basically when it starts it basically performs either read or write operation okay 
on data object so when throughout the read and write operation all the operation are getting <coughs> executed then it is said to be in active state maybe some operations are done and some other operations in a row to be get executed okay so this is in active state if all the operations that are defined in the transaction are completed but the value generated the final uh, logical unit of uh, value that is getting generated not uh, done durable to the database then it is in partial commit state okay if it is dur made durable to the data object then it is committed state for this we can say there are some uh, buffer memory or you can say some uh, temporary memory that is uh, used to uh, generate the final value then it is written to the actual database okay then it is committed okay but if in case uh, the operations defined in a transaction doesn't successfully done then it is ultimately failed state and if it is uh, uh, finally write operation is not done data uh, object the durability is not done then it's also lead to the failed operation okay so if it is in failed state then it is aborted and aborted through the rollback operations okay so we can say for now uh, this part is done okay thank you thank you